just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I took the ponytail off. I'm not wearing it to work today. Anyway, what is today? Today is Monday, and I only have three days of work this week. I'm excited about that. Well, I'm not excited about my procedure. I'm having it done on Thursday. That's why I'm off work for um, a few days. Actually, maybe three. Thursday, Friday and possibly Monday but I'll see how I feel over the weekend it's something very small it's been a long quick weekend if that makes any sense meaning the funeral we were there from 11 because my friend had to sing at the funeral we were there from 11 to 4 and it's funny because the preacher he was a long-winded preacher and a lot of people made jokes about that. I remember when I was younger being in service with him and it would last a very long time. And yeah, and his funeral was even long. So I'm sorry the video before was like here and there, but I was not going to vlog at the funeral. And then my friend, she rolled with me and the church people don't know I vlog or whatever. And it's not that it's a big secret, it's just, I don't know. When it's people that I know, I really don't want them watching our vlogs. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels weird. Like my immediate family and my mom and my aunt and cousins, they're different. But other people, it's like, mm, no, no, I don't know, Just it's just weird. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, maybe I did before, but Cheyenne is in Vegas. Her and my daughter, her and my daughter, her and my friend's daughter, my best friend, Tracy, they are in Vegas this week, and they left yesterday morning, got there, and I've been watching her snap, so if I remember, I will try to like put some of her video, um, her Snapchat videos in here, that way you guys could see her progress. Her room is really nice, too, so. Yeah, all right, I better get going. And I am just editing a vlog right now. Anyway, I am going over the things I need for my surgery on Thursday. And they called me today and told me that my surgery time was 9.30 on Thursday. And I'm like, okay, great, you know, I'd be home most of the afternoon because the surgery won't take very long from what I was told. And then on the way home, I got another call from the doctor, well, the surgery department, and they pushed my surgery till 1230. I guess I can't really complain. I don't know the reason why it was pushed back, but whatever. But Kaiser gives you this, and this is new because when was the last surgery I had? My thyroid? When I had my thyroid taken out, I didn't get this. So they gave like this surgery kit. And I picked this up last month, um, was it last month? Maybe about six weeks ago when I decided to do this surgery. Two hours before my surgery time, they want me to drink this liquid called Clear Fast. It's white grape. I think it's gonna be disgusting. It said it safely hydrates and nour nourishes before anesthesia. So anyway, this is what it is. It, it is a clear liquid. Um, I don't like anything grape flavored, so I am going to have to choke this down. They said when you start drinking it, drink it all within 15 minutes. I'm reading the directions here. I'm glad I read this. It says best served chilled. Do not freeze. Use as directed. Yeah. Mmm. This is going to be disgusting. Ugh. And now, you know how when you go... Well, when you have a surgery, so 
course you're supposed to take a shower the night before and then in the morning other than brushing your teeth not to put on any lotion so now they give these chlorhexidine cloth wipes so after you shower you wait about an hour and then you wipe your whole body down except your face and private areas and yeah i just think that is so weird that is what i'm reading up on right now just making sure i have everything set ready to go and shine is still in vegas so Tariq has the day off he will be driving me home from the surgery i'll just drive there but and they'll wait for me and then he'll drive me home Good morning everyone it is wednesday on my way to work and tomorrow is my surgery so let's get these eight hours over with so i can get off and start mentally preparing my mind for my little procedure yeah all right okay we're in line for mcdonald's yet. and savannah wants a happy meal show them what you got at winco y'all this is where i invest my money people she Wait, bought that herself. That four... Let me show you guys how much of a kid she is. Watch. Watch what she gets. Wait, stop. Don't order yet. I don't know what, what? I'm I'm just call. pulling up to the window. Okay, 429. That's gonna have four left over. I want that chocolate chip. Is that what's called? The chip chocolate chip. Wrap? Wrap? Mm-hmm. That's three. Right, the I coffee one? Yeah. One second, please. Yes. That's three chocolate chip wrap and a happy meal. Yes. Wait, can I replace my drink? Because I don't want a drink and a coffee. So, <laughs> I can pay for it. I'll give you a dollar. I'll put just add it to your thing. Are you ready? Yes, I have a question first. Chicken nugget happy meal. But instead of the drink, can we substitute it for a chocolate chip wrap? And what size would you like that? The largest one. Large, please. What you like with that? Barbecue and then I want that go-gurt. Barbecue and then the go-gurt. Okay. And then a large unsweetened iced tea with light ice. There's a B. Okay. And that will be all. Okay, your total will be 818. Thank you. You're welcome. She's spending all my money. <laughs> Who's spending all your money? Me? I'm paying hey, for my tea. Do that. No, I have enough. Go here. No, stop. Here. Oh, you're gonna find it, it in your purse in the morning. So it's on you? Yes, it's on me. Well, I can't wow. buy you a dollar thing after everything you bought me throughout 17 years of life. Can't Aww. buy you a drink. I guess I let her spend a dollar on me. But I can't believe she bought this bucket of red mines. Ten dollars. No, it was it Who? was it was eight dollars. It was seven, yeah. seven something. Who else sees these in like their teacher's classrooms and one and always wants <laughs> one? I know it's not me. I know it's not just me. Hi. Hello. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Mm. Thank you, Savannah. You're welcome. <laughs> Such a big kid. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. It is the day of my surgery and i was supposed to be there by now but i think i told you guys they called me back and changed my surgery time so it's not until 12 30 but of course i'm going to get there a little bit earlier to find parking because with kaiser when you go midday parking is crazy it's so hard to find parking so i'm gonna do that um i'm gonna drive myself there but tyreek is gonna drive me home because Cheyenne it's still in Vegas and she actually comes home tonight I'm happy to see her and excited to see her so yeah you guys I almost drank coffee this morning out of habit and then I was like wait there's something I can't do so I'm only allowed sips of water well clear liquids they said and at 10 30 I have to drink that um clear light I think is what it's called I show you guys already I have to drink that all within 15 minutes and I guess that's just hydrates your body or whatever before surgery it has a lot of sugar in it so yeah I have to drink that and then what else 
oh, I was, of course, you know, when you go in surgery, you have to wear comfortable clothes. So I wore this home on Sunday, but I washed it last night and I'm wearing it again because this is one of my comfortable dresses that I can just, you know, let hang and nothing gathers or touches me anywhere. So that's the reason why I have this on again. And yeah, my stomach is growling, but of course I can't eat. I'll eat after surgery. Um, and this is going to be my home. This is going to be my bed for the next couple of days. That shouldn't surprise you guys. It'll be easier than getting in and out of my bed. I can just lay on this couch and recline and it'll just be easier for me. So here is where I'm going to be. And also, you know, you go into surgery and you can't, the morning of, you're not supposed to put any lotions or anything like that. So yeah, my feet are a little bit ashy and I'm so tempted to put lotion on my hands because they're dry and even though they're not working on my feet or my hands I don't know I just I'm a rule follower so if they say don't I'm not going to do it um but I did put on deodorant I don't think they told me not to put on deodorant I don't think why they would they're not working on my arms or anything like that so yes I put on deodorant because that is needed <sighs> okay well it's about nine o'clock so I'm going to Tariq is already up I'm just going to sit here until it's time to go. Okay, so it's 10.30, and this stuff is called Clear Path. It doesn't smell good at all, and I gotta drink this all within 15 minutes. You guys are seeing me drink it for the first time, and it's grape. I don't like grape flavored anything. This is disgusting, Savannah. I'm gonna do this. Okay, you guys, let me just chug it. Oh. Ew, this is bad. Oh my gosh. The thing is not bigger than this. This is so disgusting. I'm gonna taste it. I'm afraid if I stop, I'm not gonna pick it back up. So that's the reason why I'm trying to get it all down right now. Best served chilled. Best served chilled. I mean, it would have been worse if it would have been room temperature. Do people drink this just because? Great for exercise, plane flights, cold and flus. I don't want to drink it when I have to. I I'm not exaggerating. This is the worst thing I ever tasted. And that last swallow did not want to go down. But I'm done. And she doesn't care. All right, I'm on my way to the hospital. Um, Savannah told me I was way too dramatic when I was drinking that drink. That it didn't taste that bad because she tasted a very little bit at the end. But you guys, I don't like anything grape flavored. So to me, grape flavored things are disgusting. I do eat grapes, but other than that, it's disgusting. So oh, hello, I'm back home. Been home for a while now. I'm just sleeping off the anesthesia. I'm not in any pain. Surgery went well. And I'm just tired. And this is where I've been since I've been home. Um, I have this on and this right here. I'm about to take it off. Actually, they had to poke me three times for an IV. I didn't tell you that, huh, Savannah? Yeah, you did. I did I? When? The hospital. In the hospital? Yeah, I don't know. And then she was like, you were like, Thanks for poking or something like that. Is that you? That's okay. Oh yeah, I did tell you that at the end. Okay, now I remember that. So one lady tried on this hand and she said the vein collapsed or I don't know, something like that. Then they tried on my right hand and she said something else. I don't know, it didn't work. And I'm like almost in tears because I don't like needles and I have a high pain tolerance, but I don't know, I just was, I'm, I'm already nervous for the surgery. And then um, someone else came and she found it perfectly, put the IV in. And then the nurse, the anesthesiologist that worked with the nurse, I mean the, the nurse that worked with the anesthesiologist, she came and she gave me some medicine. She said it's gonna make you loopy and you know, relax you. Oh boy, did it relax me because Tariq and Savannah said they came in and seen me before surgery. I don't remember any of that. And what did Tariq ask me? He he said that he said he had everything that you gave him. 
And then you're like, you read the book? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? So Tyreek was telling me, I guess, when they see me, that I don't remember any of this, that he has everything I gave him, the keys and stuff like that. And I asked him, did he read the book? I don't remember that. Was a nurse around when I did that? Mm -hmm. That was embarrassing. Oh my goodness. What did she say? She just minded her own business. And then I asked <laughs> if the blanket was warm. You're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. I hope you guys can hear Savannah. So it's, that's funny because I don't remember any of that. It was funny because I was thinking of Grey's Anatomy the whole time. I'm like, this is where they're going to scrub in and stuff like that. I don't know. But I remember when they put the mask on me, she said, breathe deep. So I'm breathing in. And I remember like at my fourth <laughs> breath, I was done. I Next thing I know, I was waking up. What are you doing? You Boston are having a fun time over here. Yeah, Boston and you guys can't even see bad lighting. <laughs> He's too dark. I'm too dark. No, it's just the lighting in here. So yeah, you no, guys, I'm doing around. well. I'm just relaxing. I am hungry. You want to make me dinner? No. <laughs> she said no. She's going to make me dinner. And yeah, so I'm just relaxing, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to take these things off because they are getting, they are pretty tight on my hand. I feel like I'm losing circulation. Not, but I don't know. I feel that way. <laughs> All right. And I'm probably going to sleep. Hello, everyone. I probably look a mess, but y'all understand. I just had surgery yesterday. Anyway, I slept right here in this chair. And I was up pretty late. It's like, it's 12.30 right now. Um, I slept, yeah, I slept a long time this morning because yesterday, of course, I had the surgery and I was sleeping then. And then when I came home in the afternoon, I pretty much slept off the anesthesia. I slept a long time. And then Cheyenne came home last night and I wanted to make sure I was up when she got home. So I was hearing about her week in Vegas. And then I told her about our weekend with the funeral and all that. And what we've been doing. So we were just catching up. And I missed my daughter. And got to bed pretty late. Um, maybe like around 3.30. No one had to get up early today to go anywhere. So... Yeah, I slept a long time. I'm still kind of tired. My battery's flashing so it may die. Um, I'm still kind of tired. Um, I'm not in any pain. And yeah, I am hungry though. So Savannah's there. I'm gonna ask her to get up and grab me something to eat. Okay, so I take that back. The only thing that hurts is my throat from the tube or whatever that they put in my throat when I went under in surgery. So I'm actually gonna gargle with salt water and yeah. And you guys, let me show you this. So I'm catching up on all of my YouTube videos because I'm behind and everyone, because last weekend I went to the funeral and I don't know, earlier this week, I just didn't have time to watch a bunch of videos. So right now I'm watching the Tim Tracker and y'all okay I love water parks even though we don't go to them often but this is one ride that I am terrified to get on check this out and let me know have you guys ever rode anything like this look at this this thing that you stand in and it just drops you mm -mm. nope nope and nope first of all I'm claustrophobic Mm -mm. Y'all, nope. I'm sorry. It's a no for me. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I'm up. I can finally take a shower today um, because the couple days after my surgery, only like just, what do they call it? Sponge bathing and I couldn't fully take a bath. So yeah, I get the shower today. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna shower. I actually have a few errands to run and I'm feeling really good. I'm not in any kind of pain. Thank you, Jesus. And yeah, let's get this day started. But first, let's get clean. Ooh, okay, so I am 
shower and clean it feels so good you guys you just don't know when someone tells you don't shower pretty much do the best you can to keep yourself clean it makes you want to shower even more anyway waiting on savannah to get ready and then i'm going to go run some errands hello you guys so i know i look a mess please don't mind me don't judge me for how i look i know um anyway i am just waiting for savannah to come back in the car she ran into the store really quick and i'm just out here i um i need to get home because i'm exhausted okay here's the thing i feel fine i'm not in any pain from the surgery you guys and i know i haven't talked about it at all and i will but i'm not in any pain but i still had surgery two days ago and i'm exhausted and i really they okayed me to drive you know right now but i just had surgery two days ago so i'm tired and i need to be in the house i need not to overdo it um i am taking monday off from work as well so yeah yes we're watching <laughs> we are about to watch pan's labyrinth mute it for a minute mute it pause it for a second okay so it is on netflix and we actually own this movie. And Boston is nowhere to be seen. Where's Boston? Oh, he's outside. Oh, he's outside. We put him outside to use the bathroom. Anyway, what was I saying? So we own this movie. It's called Pan's Labyrinth. It's a really good movie. We have to... Wow, be noisy. We have to read it because it's in Spanish. But it's a really good movie. Have you guys ever heard I of this? Spanish, you don't know Spanish. Yes, I'm very fluent in it. You're fluent in what? <laughs> I know Mexican very It's well. not called Mexican. We're gonna watch the other movie right now. What's the other movie that we're watching after this? Apocalypto. And, what, and that's what another one you have to read. That well, that language? was like that was like the Mayan. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do? Did you just fart? No. That's <laughs> disgusting. I would never. <laughs> oh, 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 like you never fart? Oh, he, oh my gosh. I did you just ignore me? I have, I have something to say. In school... Can I keep keep playing? Yeah, I keep playing. Okay. I have something to say. Okay, so in school, someone was like, oh, we were t they were teaching us like about the Mayan language, and I was like, I know something in the language. And I was like, oh, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> what? Remember in this movie, and they're like, oh, yeah, too sweet. I was like, I know. <laughs> Savannah, that was in Princess and a Frog. They say that in here. They don't they, say too yes, sweet they, in here. Yes, yes, they do. No. I, yes, they do, Mama. Okay, well. No, in um, Apocalypto, they're like, um, they say something. No, it was like, like y'all, my smooth. Remember? Oh my gosh, yes. It yeah, was that. we kept saying that over and over again. It was that. Okay. And I, I convinced that 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 teacher that I knew that word in that language because I, I watched this movie. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let Boston in so we can watch this movie. Oh my gosh. I was like in fourth grade. Yeah. Y'all, I don't know what she just said. So just <laughs> nod your head and smile. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm relaxing. About two years old. He's not two years old. He's like 180. Boston, you know turtles live that long? He's gonna fall. Why'd you burp in his that face? Rude. That was rude. It's like my yeah we love him so much you guys but he loves me back so it's okay it's okay he yes. lets savannah do whatever savannah wants to him and he just lays there and takes it Stand up. that's love i know i can literally torture him and he'll still follow me around yeah and by torture she doesn't mean anything bad she just like plays with him <laughs> a lot like she's doing now like that he just puts up with it <laughs> but then sometimes he will take off i'm boston huh boston i love you dog <laughs> yeah she'll do stuff like that <laughs> she'll do stuff like that that's what i mean by torture you guys oh he's drinking water he comes over here <laughs> he's gonna be dripping water all over the place hey boston hey. out the kitchen good boy Good Come boy. Here. Get up there. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs>
Come on. 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 Come Poor dog. Look, he just sitting there taking it. Okay, Elmira. See, he's like, uh uh, I've had enough. Oh. You're gonna fall, Boston. We need a new collar, man, because this is a girl's collar. It is a girl's yes. collar. Purple squirrels. And he's a boy. Y'all, it looks like he's getting fat, but he actually needs to get, um, <laughs> did he lick your mouth? No. Oh. It looks like he's getting fat, which he has gained weight since he's been with us, but, um. His hair. His hair it's is like growing. so long. Because he does not shed at all. So, we need to get him cut. Boston! He's over here. He's now. going behind the couch. You're pointing at him. He's oh, right he's here. going behind the couch. He goes behind the couch, you guys. I think he wants my red vines. She's really sitting there eating red vines. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Do do? No, thank you. Yeah. Get back up there, Boston. Nope. <laughs> Try again. Come on. You really want it. I guess you really want it. Try again, Boston. Come on. Come on. Don't give him that. No, I have to give him something. Hey! You're not giving him a red vine. Boston. Boston. He's like, what, lady? What? He's not Okay, can we watch this movie finally? Yes. Okay. Say goodnight. Say goodbye. Goodnight, Boston. Say good Boston, I love you. <laughs> what does Kevin say? Or Doug? Hey, see, he loves me too. Oh, but your breath don't smell good, babe. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so bad. All the time for no reason. We need to get him those like green minty thingies. Yeah. Those things that like freshen their breath. Mm, brushes. Humans can eat those too. I'm not eating those. You know they say that dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. Okay, they lied because dogs lick their butts. No, no. I'm sorry, but no, Savannah. It is Sunday night, and this is the first time I'm picking up the camera since we've been home. I'm tired. I've been sleeping all afternoon, so tired and exhausted. And I feel fine, like physically, but I'm just really tired. And I'm sleeping out here in the living room because it's just easier to sleep sitting up, sort of, instead of laying completely flat. So, you guys know my couch reclined so I'm just out here and as you see Boston is out here with me and Savannah is asleep over there on the other couch so yeah you guys I am just here and it's pretty late it's midnight and I'm the only one up I think the other two are asleep as well but I'm up because I've been sleeping most of the whole afternoon. So after church, I went to Walmart and I did get a movie. I got um, like Happy Death Day Part 2. And I'm watching that right now. I just pause it so I can pick up the camera and talk to you guys. Because I realize I have not vlogged. Isn't Boston so cute, you guys? I usually don't let him be on my couch. Just bare bottom without something under him, but it's okay right now. You hear me? You hear me, boy? You can get away with it right now. Today's okay because we're all out here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Is he laying on the floor? He laying on the floor. Are you tired of hearing me talk? Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going, huh? What are you doing? What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you restless? Are you restless? Is that what it is? Huh? Lay down. Lay down. You're not hungry, you're not thirsty. You already went out to go potty. So what's going on, huh? What's going on? What's going on? 
All right, go lay down. Go lay down somewhere. Okay. Is Savannah asleep? Is Savannah asleep? Let's lay down, Boston. Okay, I'll pet you some more. Watch when I stop you guys. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> you want me to pet you again? Huh? Yes? He is so loving, you guys. I love this dog so much. He is so perfect. I love you. We love you, love you, love you. Okay, I need to put my feet up. Okay, you need to go somewhere. Go over there, go lay down. Go ahead, get up there. Go ahead. No? Okay, are you gonna get back up here? You can, just this one time. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're such a sweet dog. Yes, you are, Boston. How did we get so lucky to find you, huh? That's his way of saying, don't stop. Bless you. I know, I know. Okay, but I'm tired now.